more, a bit more those uh, yellow targets though. Sword of Annihilation. Every Ace Combat seems to have these super weapons. We discovered that the unidentified laser weapon is a long-range offensive weapon codenamed Excalibur. We believe it to be a Belkin anti-aircraft defense chemical laser weapon developed as a missile defense system. According to our information, the strike zone is heavily guarded by a jamming facility and multiple anti-aircraft artillery units. Your objective is to destroy Excalibur. But to do that, you must first neutralize the jamming facility and the anti-aircraft artillery. Considering the importance of your target to the enemy, I'm afraid there's no way to avoid casualties from enemy resistance. In light of this, we've called in reinforcements for this mission. Work together with them to achieve the mission objectives. Okay, destroy the chambers. And then Excalibur. Got it. I think I'm going to take a creep pen for this one. I wonder if sword works. A rocket launcher would, would be a... Let's not be lame. Let's take some, some... Some fighter that needs some skills. Yeah, but rockets are pretty fun. Uh, this, this, I can, I can use this only after the jammers are down. So let's, yeah, uncoded bond might be, might be pretty fun. But let's, <clears throat> let's keep in, uh, our wingman in, in the air-to-air -air configuration because he can steal our <laughs> kills that, that, that way. So this is, yeah, this is pretty much the super weapon from pre previous games. This is Com Team's number three. Name's PJ. I'll support you any way I can, Com Team. PJ. It's a laser. The tanker's been destroyed. Approaching enemy territory. You're in dangerous airspace. All planes. Break, break. Things started. Enemy aircraft approaching. Increase ECM out to a terrible tree. Oh no.
Oh no. Oh no. That's the reason why I don't he head straight into the <laughs> into the laser. It's going to take like <laughs> pretty, pretty many web weapons to take that down. Don't have any any more special weapons, so. Okay, that was it.
heights rolling down. When I was shot, I was very surprised about ter terrain textures, or this mega texture that's being streamed in the, in the landscape. In these days, this, is, this isn't like something to wonder about, but in a PS2 era, 90s, yeah, that was, that was actually pretty amazing. Although we didn't discover any nuclear facilities, Excalibur is no longer a threat. This can be considered a substantial victory for our side. Head Operations has recognized you as an indispensable component in this war, and expresses their utmost gratitude and respect. Apparently we are still soldier. Which is, which is good. Because they, they, then I'm going to get uh, different opponents in this, this mission. Orders have come in for an emergency sortie. A major air engagement is taking place as we speak between Belka and the Allied forces near the border in the B-7R airspace, which Belka is committed to defend at all costs. B-7R, commonly known as the Round Table, has long been a symbol of Belka's political, military, and industrial might. However, at noon today, along with its lightning-quick commencement of Operation Battle Axe, the Allied forces officially announced the permanent abrogation of its non-aggression treaty at the Assembly of Nations, and simultaneously attacked B-7R with a massive fighter squad. This mission may be our chance to finally end the Belkin War once and for all. I wish you luck. yellow target but I suppose I need to double tap so I suppose we are going to take the terminator for this and it has only long range air to air missiles but suppose we are going to manage Not going, Mel. Ah, missed. If only they get here, we can put an end to 
little bit there. Donuts and chocolate. How much would you rate the Terminator? One to two thousand and six. You meet this this plane. I, I, I like this. I like this very, very much. I mean, I mean, on the paper. I, I, on the paper, this is great plane. But I don't know about practice. They, I think Russians only make like a couple prototypes of this plane. But in in this game, it's just val valuable uh, load of missiles, and it's agile, it's fast, it can carry the fu fuel, air, explosive. So. So it's 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 joy to fly basically. So not a super weapon but close. Probably going to take it to, to the last mission. Because yeah. Well that's a pretty met meta meta choice anyway. Only one was pretty okay. Didn't check it so. Apparently, in, in Ace Combat Universe, every poor prototype gets a, gets a life. So, lots of uh, prototypes that are bearing the basically on the paper as well. the mid-air mid collision in this game. I, I think you can get it in the Ace Combat 5, but I, I haven't managed it this game. Beat the checkmate. Oh, checkmate is fine. Problem, problem with the Russian equipment is that they don't really, really believe in comparison. Com, uh, com, computerization, automatic flight computer and stuff. So the workload on pilot is pretty great. It ap applies to the different other weapon systems. Suho is uh, 47. Yeah, I wonder how how good that would be. Ushni. Okay, so. Okay, so new 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 enemies. Haven't haven't fought these guys yet. Okay, so I'm I'm still in a soldier. So ah, that was stupid. Missile is coming. Okay. Ah, they have a prowler. Let's take the prowler down first. Helps a lot. Now, now I can see things. Okay. 
surprising it didn't connect. I like Cult Team. Cult Team is fun. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say that Ace Combat needs a movie, but then I remembered that uh, Top Gun 2 Maverick actually <laughs> exists, which is that's really, really much Ace Combat. Feels like uh, writers actually writers actually played Ace Combat and wanted to make a movie out of it. for me. Okay, that was it. Did Pelka drop the nukes or spoilers? Uh, I, d I don't mind either way, but yeah, let's keep the spo spoilers light. Uh, although everyone should know that Pelka is going to drop drop some nukes, but let's let's keep it in, it's in the secret how it uh, it's going to happen because they actually told it in uh, Ace Combat 5 and I streamed the Ace Combat f uh, 5 b before so Not, nothing to spoil about yeah so Peji and uh, yeah Peji was introduced in these couple missions before he comes back back in the in the end yeah that's 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 yeah logical logical thought but yeah, let's keep spoilers light. Round table is finally tough. Incidentally, the pilot in the F-14D was an enemy ace. Okay. He's personally responsible for shooting down dozens of our planes. Belka is no longer a threat. Okay, behind the soldier. Steel. Okay. Now we can buy F-14D. I mean, if he wanted to. My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Are you sure Lord. about that? Oh, see ya. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Yeah. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkan army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. Or, or so they I thought. I was given an opportunity to interview the former I mean, it's, aces it's of the Belkin Air Force. Yeah. Back then, they were the masters of the sky, and they had also known him. So I crossed the border to follow his trail. Certain ca Captain Bartlett was in last the fight, war, one, the one of our, 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 our side fighters. To capture the voices of those who were there. Indigo Team Commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 7th Air Division, 51st Tactical Fighter Squadron, Dimitri Heinrich, an ace whose precision and grace in flying earned him the title of Blue Heron. Today he has his hands full with the family business. No, yeah, she, she's in a 7. 
I was surprised. Initially, my squadron was assigned to the Stable Eastern Front. That was changed to Area B7R, the round table where casualties were recorded at a fearsome pace. It's also the place where I met him. It was just two planes, him and an eagle. And yet our lead force didn't stand a chance against them. I could tell he was good, and it was going to be bad for us. But there was something else I noticed. He hesitated. A vulnerability that can be exploited. I was certain I would win. The pilot was still young. He had yet to master the rules of combat. But in the end, I was shot down. Yeah, Tim um, Nagase was in seven. Gelb team the last last mission. Former member of the Belkin Air Force, Fifth Air Division, Twenty Third Tactical Fighter Squadron. You can find my Ace Combat Seven playthrough from my YouTube page. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation, and he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated, and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. It felt like he could see right through me. Yeah, I wonder, wonder that comment as myself as well. He matched every combat maneuver I made until I used up every trick in the book. Schnee team commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 22nd But then again, these are interviews and people talk brought in, in interviews, so he's his... Your journalist is trying to find the truth. Today he works as a flight instructor for civilian pilots. The instant he shot me, I pulled the lever. <laughs> I barely managed to escape from my plane as it burst into flames. After drifting from the blast, I landed below the round table. It was a wide open, barren wasteland. How long would I have to wait for a rescue party? Radio interference within the round table was fierce. The odds of a distress signal actually reaching anyone was low. I was at a loss for what to do. Anyway, I'd really gone out with a bang this time. I took that as a sign it was time for me to retire. Just then, I heard a roaring overhead. It was his plane. I was jealous of his calm flying form. Rather than wait for the rescue team, I began to walk toward the nearest base. I was driven by desire to get back up there and fight him again. Of course, it did take me three days to get there. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He would ascertain the situation in an instant, and change the tide of battle. He was born for combat. It was no wonder they called him a demon lord. That said, it was hell trying to keep up with him. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell, they weren't the only ones. The Inferno. Can't wait for it though. Yeah, it might be a re really fun. And uh, I also like Ace Combat Infinity back in, in the play PlayStation 3. The are to take that was a lot of fun. Free to the play. The industrial city of Hoffna is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. 
The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped. Don't make it me cry here. <laughs> yeah. Requested our participation <clears throat> in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area. But don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance. <laughs> Time for war grams in this mission. Yeah, Streamlabs bot is slightly, slightly jealous uh, about uphold, upholding the chat, the rules. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Oh no. Yeah. It went and destroyed your messages. Yeah, I suppose I need to go and... I need to go and check the stream elements options. Because because it, it it has been a bit bit too strict on the on the moderator. Okay, let's see. Spam filters, caps protection. It's not on. But. Uh, Streamlab, <laughs> yeah, Streamlabs. Ah, yeah. I think I know. I think I know where the where the problem is. Yep. Yeah. All right. Want want to uh, want to start fiddling with the settings right right now. I suppose. I need to, and I need to fix that later. <laughs> All you had to do was to follow the damn train, steam maps. Yeah. Not the happy camper. I, I think I'm going to take the creep and for this one. Because th this is this is small. This is fun to fly, and it has SOD. You can, you can take creepen against the very very advanced fighters and win. So I I like this. Let's let's tr see what see what happens. is great I mean I mean it wasn't great back in the 90s uh, was was offered for the Finnish Air Force as well and it was like yeah maybe we don't want to take a prototype fighter yet but it, it became great
basic. Basically in this game, fighters work at, as advertised. Stirring up the friendlies here. Why you have 23 you know, just sitting in the hangar? Yeah. Although there's there's most chance that we might see something derived from the AY23 in, in later future. Because it had li really advanced concepts back in the, back in the day, but apparently U.S. Uh, decision makers felt like they need to go with a with a little more traditional fighter and F-22. I need to check the video. Okay, that didn't, didn't connect or destroy. My missile hit the chimney last time I shot this surface to a missile. Ouch. That's not good a good thing that I get damaged. For the obvious reasons. Missiles. I wonder if it's going. Okay, fighters incoming. Gonna be off here now. Yep. Although there's there's video of this Israeli F-15 that lost lost a wing and had to land with one wing and it, it looks like really ridiculous but it, it it's too true story. So some some fighters can take an incredible amount of punishment. Although they they won't fly well. <laughs> that's Pixie, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's Pixie definitely.
31, okay. So for uh, his back, back story, yeah. I have noticed that when I'm teaching game development in, in a Finnish school, uh, I'm often telling stories about developers and how they end up uh, end up with a certain certain kind of decisions not just story wise but a, but a development and game ideas my yeah yeah pixie is telling about his views And we have damage fighter and uh, 21 missiles. Yep, this is going to be just fine. Ah. Okay, let's not spam the missiles. Okay, that was cool. Yes, you, you can turn your head as well. Oops. One down. Yep. Ba basically, in real life, you wouldn't take the head on shots, but in movies and games, it's all fun. Save some missiles. Oh no. Jink. Okay, that works. Sometimes it works. Okay, so there's a jamming fighter over there. I think we are going to go with the guns <laughs> soon. Okay. Okay. Time to show some skills. If I got any of them. More machines, yeah. Okay, three fighters, six missiles. Going to get close. So I need to get a gun kill with it. With the creep pen against F-35, okay. That happens when you face the best bullets. Ah, Big C is helping. Thank you! Okay. And maybe I need to retract my statement. He's useful. I'm just counting that I need to shoot everyone down like in many other Ace Combat games. Uh, there's more of them. Okay, it's done. 
the kickstart my the kickstart my heart. Yeah. Okay, there's more of them. B2, okay. I suppose. Can we beat them with the two missiles? Probably no. Now we are Winchester. That's why Pixie started to do stupid choices. Both forces are going doing war crimes. Heck, the world has gone to shit. Yeah, but you need to think that this is like 1995, and a rules of war were very big thing uh, to, during the Clinton administration. Bosnian war and all such things, because. Uh, and this is what I, I, I re read in a school. The Bosnian war was basically a, a African tribe for transferred to the European soil. So it, it was amazing and brutal just just because uh, ethnic uh, ethnic uh, component. Pursued by Allied forces, the Balkan forces have taken flight, abandoning Hoffman. Without military production capabilities, Belga is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories before Belka had time to use them. But yeah, it's, it's a good question. Is, is the Ace Combat uh, really anti-war? Is it really? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a pro, pro and con. Now, now we can be good, good. Nice, nice soldiers. And not shoot the <laughs> yellow ones. We don't did some war crimes here, but yeah, it's, it's a good quest question. I don't have an answer to that. It's like there's arguments for and against the stage of apocalypse.